dear students and welcome once again to Zenith Academy Online. Today we are doing part 3 of the chapter Improvement in Food Resources for CBSC class 9. So this is the last and the shortest part of this chapter, biology portion last chapter. Let's begin. So in this part we will be talking about animal husbandry. Right. So what is animal husbandry? It's the farming and maintenance of animals for commercial purposes. Okay. So animal husbandry is clubbed. Farming is there and maintenance of animals is there. Now this is done for commercial purpose. So animals are raised for milk, meat and eggs. These are the three main purposes of animal husbandry. So many a time students say that we don't get marks when we write the definition. So if you just write uh, taking care of the animals is known as animal husbandry. No, it is farming and the maintenance of animals on that farms for commercial purposes. The definition has to have those keywords my dear students. Now let's first talk about the first category cattle. Now under category Cattle, what do come? Uh, what things come? Cow, buffaloes, okay, oxes, all these are cattle. So, cattle are reared by almost all farmers. In India, cattle are reared for milk and drought labor for agricultural work. Okay? So, one is for milk for, la for drought labor. Okay? So, in agriculture, we need the work, the, we need the labor of cattle. So that is known as, known as drought labor. Okay. Now there are mainly two species of reared cattle. Bos indicus that is cow and Bos bubalis that is buffalo. So mainly cows and buffaloes they are reared for milk and farm labor. Okay. So please remember these two names the scientific name of cow that is Bos indicus and Buffalo is boss bivalis. Very important for board examinations point of view. Now the exotic breeds of cow like Jersey and Brown Swiss are reared for extended lactation. Extended lactation means for long period of time and for large quantity of milk. These two breeds of, of cow are there. Jersey and Brown Swiss. Remember the names my dear students. The Indian breeds like Red Sindhi and Sahiwal are reared for disease resistance and again drought labor. So this full page is very important. This full slide is very important for boards my dear students. One or two mark questions do come from this part. Okay. So I will repeat again two, two species of reared cattle. Boss Indicus and Boss Bubalis that are reared for milk and labor. Okay. Now, Jersey Brown Swiss for extended lactation, Red Sindhi and Sahiwal for disease resistant and drought labor. Then many hybrids are also reared in India. So in India there are many hybrids also that are reared. So these were the basic species and then there are again hybrid. Now let's talk about poultry farming. So poultry farming is a form of animal husbandry which is undertaken to raise domestic fowl. Okay. So under this everything comes. Okay. Chicken, hen, cock. So it is known as domestic fowl. That's the general name for the production of egg and chicken meat. Okay, these are the two important things, egg and chicken meat. So what is poultry farming? Raising and rearing of or it is the form of animal husbandry. So if they have said animal husbandry, all the things do come. So it is a form of animal husbandry which is undertaken to raise domestic fowl. Remember the key words. Now here you don't have to learn so many examples, just two or three examples are more than enough. But this is the very important line. I will come back to the last line. So, Asil, Busra, Chittagong and Gagus are examples of Indian varieties of poultry. Or we call them Desi breeds. Indigenous or Desi breeds. So, these names are so difficult my dear students. Even my tongue twists and I may pronounce it wrong. 
but that's okay. Just learn the spellings. See here, Plymouth Rock, Viandot. Then Rhode Island Red. This is important. Rhode Island Red. And New Hampshire are examples of American creeks. So if you can learn these two names, this one is very tough. So learn two names of American breeds. These are the indigenous or desi breeds, the first examples. Okay. So you can learn a seal and gagus there. And in uh, American breeds, you can learn Rhode Island Red and New Hampshire. Okay. Now English breeds are Suzaks, Cornish, Red Caps, etc. Mediterranean classes such as Leghorns, White Leghorns, Menorca are some commonly read examples. You don't need to learn so many of them. But this is very important again for one mark. What are layers? Layers are the egg laying birds. Okay, that variety which lay eggs. And broilers, which are fed more. So that their mass or muscles becomes heavier more. Okay, they are broilers. So two main categories. One is layers that are used for laying eggs. And another is broilers which are reared for its meat. This is very important from board point of view again. Now, fishery. Okay, this also comes under animal husbandry, fishery. Fishery deals with the procurement. Procurement means hasil karna, lena. Fishery deals with procurement of fish for consumption. Okay, that's the definition. Now, fish is a good source of protein, we all know and forms the diet of people living in coastal areas. So fish can be obtained from, now again this is important, sea, fresh water bodies or even artificial estuaries etc. Okay. Now the process of capturing fish is known as aquaculture. Remember the term, the process of capturing the fish, all this process that is happening here, this is known as aquaculture. Okay. Now different types of fisheries. There are two types of fisheries. Marine fisheries first. So as the picture is suggesting. Okay, fishing in oceans and seas. So marine fishery deals with fishing in oceans and seas. Apart from fish it also deals with other seafood. Such as prawns, lobsters and crabs. This also comes under marine fisheries. Okay, obviously in oceans and seas you will get these seafood. Then inland fisheries, it deals with fishing in rivers, lakes and tanks. So these are the examples of freshwater fishes, rohu, katla, brigal, grass carp etc. They are very popular varieties of fish reared in freshwater. You have to learn these names of for marine fisheries and for inland fisheries. Now beekeeping. This also comes under animal husbandry. What is beekeeping? It is also known as apiculture. It is the rearing of bees for the production of honey and wax. Again two things. Not only honey. Honey and wax. This has become a major financially rewarding and agro based activity. Why it is financially rewarding? Because nowadays from beekeeping, the farmers are making a lot of money. It requires very less space and we all know honey is so costly, right? So this has become a major financially rewarding. And agro based, this is considered, we are not farming on the land etc. But this is considered as an agro based activity. Okay? And the other name for this is apiculture. Now, some of the exotic varieties reared in India are Apis mellifera, Apis adamsoni, Apis serena indica. Now, these two you have to learn. These are very important. Apis serena indica is very popular indigenous variety. means desi variety. Apis dorsata is known as rock bee. Okay, so, learn these names my dear students. So, that was all about animal husbandry. A very short topic but... Many a times many questions do come from this portion. So for lots of other MCQs and different types of questions from this portion, keep on following Zenith Academy online. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe my dear students. Share it with maximum of your friends. During board exams I will also be going live 
and discuss your doubts bye bye my dear students